Hi Patty and Mom. It's your favorite brother and son. So, the power went out. What do you do? Well, you come over here to your brand new fancy whole house generator. Don't mind the chain and that and that'll be gone. But um, on the side of the house now, underneath this meter, you've got your transfer switch. So here you can see there are two green lights indicating that Ameren power is available. And then these other two lights that are not on that would say generator power available also. Now down here on the back side of the generator, you've got your simple gas valve, which should be left in the off position whenever not in use. But for today's demonstration, we're going to fire it up. So, take the cover off. Step one. Ah, yes. Set aside. So, on the front of this thing, you've got this big yellow plug. That stays plugged in. And then you've got your key switch. You've also got this fuel selector knob here. You're going to leave it in the propane position at all times. We're running this on natural gas. And so on the side, if you needed to run on natural gas, you would have to unscrew this little yellow cap. And in the shed, there's a small black hose that you would connect up to a um, propane bottle. Now, on the side here. I'm sorry, let's go to the back. This is where the natural gas comes in. This is a different regulator designed for natural gas. You don't have to do anything on it except for prime it, and I'll show you that in a second. This is your gas, your air gas fuel selector. This switch is off, which goes to the propane regulator. This switch is on, which goes to the natural regulator. I'm just gonna leave this in the on position at all times. Now, underneath here, on the back side of this regulator, you see this little button with the spring on it? That is the primer for the uh, natural gas Now the choke for the carburetor stays in the run position at all times. There's no need to even move it. So We've got keys a whole bunch One keys or one set of keys is going to be for this chain that's going to be mounting this thing to the ground so nobody can just steal it a couple of the other keys are going to be for these locks on this uh, transfer switch and then also the key for the generators, or the generator itself. So these are just cheap Chinese locks, but what you'd have to do is you'd have to unlock this handle first before you start the whole system. So that allows the house to be able to be turned to different power. So you can just leave it up there. Like I said, keys for the generator are on here as well so we're gonna prime this bad boy first turn the gas on just like that now you come down here and you reach in here and you push here we come at it from this oh. okay well you put you push the damn button push it all the way in and you'll hear and you'll start to smell natural gas. That's good. Now, come over to the side. Start. And there you go. Now, once you're running on this natural gas, you'll see generator lights are on now. And what you would do, I'm not going to do it in this video since we have power, but you would take this switch and you would go to the middle and then to the on position. And when you do that, this generator is going to go and it's going to come back up. So that's how you would switch over. And then, keep an eye on these green lights for the Ameren power later on. You'll notice whenever they come back on, you'll know you have power available from Ameren and you can switch it right back over. So there you go. Got to shut the generator off, use the key. There you go. And then come over to this switch, or the uh, valve, turn this off. 
and you would let this cool down for a while and then put the cover back on. Also don't forget to lock your switch in the on position so no stupid kids can come and uh, turn your power off. And this is kind of funky, you gotta kinda get it through the hole, wrap it around the thing there, and then latch it down so nobody can mess with that. All right, also when this happens, call me. Love you.